Welcome to Get the Facts. This is the program that provides you with information on government's policies and initiatives. I'm Theodore Henry. When you hear the word pharma, what comes to mind? Well, these hardworking men and women represent many things, such as the hands that feed us, the backbone of our country's food security, and the list goes on. It's not an easy profession, but it's a very important one. And their dedication and love for what they do give them the energy and drive to go on each day. Lawrence Lynch, a successful farmer from St. Thomas, knows this all too well. And he joins me on set to share his journey with us. Welcome to the program, Mr. Lynch. Welcome. Thank you very much. All right. Let's jump right into getting the facts. Now, I understand that you didn't always want to be a farmer. You had an interest Otherwise, interest. I, I never knew that you know coming into the, I mean, I mean, being a part of the agriculture was was what I wanted to do, because I wanted to do initially. I wanted to do nurse, um, become a, a male nurse. Right, right. You know, I'm um, a part of the Seventh Adventist Church. I was encouraged by a church sister. Yeah. You know, after I recognized that I left school, I never had um, enough CXC subjects. I went back to evening class. Right. Gather those few CXCs, and then I was. About, I was, you know, I was ready to, to go off to, 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 to nursing school. I was ready to, uh, to send in my resume to the, to the yes. requisite institution and stuff like that. But um, upon visiting my grandfather at, at the hospital, I didn't know that he possessed so much wisdom. <laughs> Even though I was around, I was, I was, I was around um, my younger years um, going to his farm and knowing, but he has a lot of wisdom that, that um, I never knew. So what kind of wisdom reoriented you from nursing to farming? To farming. So, so when I went there um, to the hospital to visit him, um, what, what, one, what one other thing that was encouraging me as well to become a nurse was when the, the nurse that was there was not from Jamaica, it was from an African country. Right, right. So I was saying to myself that there are so many males in Jamaica, but he was saying to me that um, predominantly the males say that it's, it's a female occupation, right. so they really don't yeah. really tend towards it. But he's saying to me that I mean, if I take up this um, occupation, then I will have endless job, and you know, and it goes on. But after conversing with my grandfather, he said to me that all my life I've done farming. Mm. He said that food is the stuff of life. Mm. You can have everything in this world what you want if you give everybody what they want. Ah. So I said, Papa, what do you, what do you mean by that? I mean, I really understand. He said, me no, yeah, because since you know, but um. But let, let me tell you something. He said that everybody needs food to eat. True. And if you can provide the food that everybody wants, they will in turn give you the money that you need. Mm. I said, him say, him say, look here, even if nobody want, when you farm and plant, food security, even if nobody want to buy your produce, you will save yourself of starvation. And the wisdom, <laughs> and the wisdom keep, keep, keep pumping in and keep yes. coming in, coming in. And so um, after that, you know, he encouraged me and he said, look here, uh, he has, um, um, he had built this house mm. out of agriculture. He said, I never took out any loan. I built it um, from the farming. He does livestock, um, tree crops and vegetable crop. Mm -hmm. And he has 11 children. They all go to school and, and they came out fairly well. Right. So, um, so he was saying to me that um, you can earn a good living. But he said, well, I think he said, we must be, I must be diligent. Ah. The same energy and the level that I will put in someone else is someone else's business. I should put that energy because I'm going to be self-employed. Right. So I should be, be diligent. And him said that I should, st where, where, wherever I am, I should, I should study and understand the land and the geographical area to where I'm at so that I can be able to fit myself in that area. So if I'm, if I'm doing the um, farming in a per certain area, I should understand the weather pattern. Right, know it. Understand the climatical condition, know what to grow at what time best to grow the crops so that you can be successful. L let, me, let me just jump in here. I, 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 I love the wisdom that I'm hearing from <laughs> yes. Grandpa. Yes. But what areas of farming are you into? I'm into um, to, um, onion farming, crop farming right now, predominantly doing crop farming right now. Okay, okay. Yes. And you mentioned that Grandfather said to you that you've been farming all your life. Yes. That, that's accurate? Yes, yes, definitely. So, okay, when you did this pivot, I, I don't have a date for when, but how long okay. have you been um, I've journey? been I've been in this journey. Um, after, after I left the hospital, um, when I came home, there was some. There was the initiative of the agro park being established across Jamaica. Right, right. So when I came back home, I was halting between um, what pop, what Grandpa said about agriculture and about nursing, mm -hmm. because the two words was staring me in 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 the face, and I didn't know what Season to do. Time. So 
So I prayed and I asked the Lord to help me to make the decision. Yeah. But as I came back, everything was just off the bat for agriculture because the Institute of Onion Production was being led by the Minister of Agriculture. So they keep training at the agro park to train the farmers. So I mean, the pipes are being laid. Right, right. Um, session are being done at the uh, at the agro park to educate the farmers as to how to grow the onions and you're going uh, and i'm going and i'm also attending these training session yeah. so everything was just so i'm starting to learn because um the ministry of persons from all across jamaica to come to train us and to teach us i think dan logashan was one of those um was one of those critical person was leading the onion production mm -hmm. and i was learning so much at the time that and I, and, then, and I didn't realize that everything was just leaning towards agriculture. So I start the training, I start the learning. Through RADA, we go to farmer field school. We start to learn about pest and ah. disease management. Yeah. We start to learn about land husbandry, how to care for the soil. And and you're doing this You're doing this while you're farming or you're learning first? Uh, yeah, I'm learning first. So I'm gaining the knowledge because I never actually know the technical part of the, 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 the farming. So right. I'm learning, I'm getting the technical knowledge now. So whilst that, and, and everything was happening so fast that by the time I realized I was fully equipped, so I was like, a, I was like an empty sponge, absorbing oh, so much information. Got it. We're, we're, we're to, how to, how to um, do the, 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 apply the good agriculture practice so as to get the end result. So it's been how many years now? From 2014 now, so it's about seven, eight years now. Seven, eight yeah, about seven years. years. Yeah, man. All right. Oh. So my, my, my next question in, in, on this same line of thought. You went to the training. Yes. You start doing this thing. Yes. You've been at it for a while. Yes. How did you break into the marketplace? How did you establish yourself? Um, all right. See, not onion. Onion is one of those crops that we import a lot. So it's a crop to which um, when we plant it, um, there's endless market for it. Because, I mean, when you think to cook, every Jamaican thing to cook, they think, they think of a onion. True. So the demand for onion, um, so, so we, we import so much at the market, th there's endless market for onion. Mm -hmm. So no matter how much onion you think you can provide, Jamaicans will consume it. Yeah. So there's already an acidic market. So at the time, that, um, Spanish Grain was one of those um, critical um, company mm -hmm. that came over and they bought the onions from us. Uh, but to start up was, was a challenge to start mm -hmm. because at the time we needed the starting capital to achieve the, um, the irrigation system, right. the drip hose and tanks, and that's how JSIF, and that's how we get a, a grant from JSIF. JSIF comes in and they were assisting the farmers, but it was not enough. So therefore we had to seek um, other financial um, institution to assist us, and I think the then known PC Bank assisted the farmer during that okay. year. All right, we're going to pick this back up. Uh, yes. Very interesting stuff so far and inspiring as well. This conversation with Lawrence Lynch, one of Jamaica's successful farmers. We continue our talk after this quick break. <laughs> 